Oh, my hair is itching my nose. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow. The Adventures of Liz and Rebecca. Hi, I'm Rebecca. <laughs> I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. I feel like, well, I feel like you're cl mm. I'm going to try not to micromanage. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am dressed as my anxiety. <laughs> if anyone is wondering, like, and Hannah brought in bunny ears for me, so I have them at weird angles, and they kind of look like bat ear wings. I don't even know, but... Yeah, because I didn't have a plan for Halloween. So. Uh, I'm wearing normal-ish clothes. Normal-ish. She's not wearing a dress. I'm not no, wearing a yeah, dress. Yeah, you're right. I was like, I had to look down and be like, are you? No, no. I got my pants on. <laughs> She's got pants on. So I, I blew my hair dry upside down to see if I could get, you know. And it was really crazy. And then I left the house and it settled a little. So it's still crazy, but not totally crazy. Anyway, Hi. Happy Halloween. It is Thursday, October 31st. And um, so technically it is Halloween. I might have to take these ears off to try on what I want to show you all. But um, yeah. <laughs> so when the yarn rep was here yesterday, uh -huh. so we, we have yarn reps who come in and sell us yarn and stuff. And she's like, what do you talk about on your podcast? And I was like, um, <laughs> stuff. Everything. <laughs> like kind of knitting but sometimes other stuff when and what when we started we weren't going to talk about anything other than yarn i was and like knitting. yeah i'm not going to do anything but only talk about the stuff related to the shop because i had watched other um podcasts which i will not name which are awesome but i was just like they spent like two hours talking about the super bowl and not much else and and now we talk about all kinds of things we also, our first episode was also, oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm in pants that are way too small for me right now to be in pants today. Um, I, we also started with only like, what, five or six minutes of filming and felt like it was huge. Yeah. So if you go back to like our very first episode, it's kind of funny. So, yeah. So I am, I'll show you, like, I can't show you everything, but like, I'm not in a dress today. I used to not wear dresses like ever. Um, and then I started wearing dresses. So I'm kind of pulling from your whole, mm -hmm. like, not being in a dress thing. Like, you wear norm normal clothes yeah. on Halloween. But I'm in, <laughs> I tried, I had to get pants that, luckily they're stretchy because they're 12s and I don't, I'm not a size 12 anymore. But so, so I, I, I joke that I got my cute little new boots on. I joke that for like bottom, bottom down, like waist down, I'm trying to be all fashiony and put together. And waist up, hot mess. So, or just I, anxiety. I, I will yeah, stand up. Yeah, you and, just got off camera. What are you I doing? Just, well, because yeah, the way the chair. Anyway, so pants. Um, because I still I can't too, tell their pants on camera. I too tried on my Go jeans. Go like this. Yeah, <laughs> now I know their pants. I, <laughs> I too tried on my jeans and um, they're. This part was really hard. Uh, I it couldn't not, even. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah. It, so, mm. um, but my Halloween costume, I've always joked that I wear normal clothes on Halloween because I wear dresses all year long. Mm -hmm. And then and you, I go back to my dresses on November 1st, and every now and then I get looks from people like <laughs> Halloween was yesterday. And I'm it's like, like, this is no, me every this day. This is everyday clothes. So. Um, yeah. And you did that because SAF, which didn't happen this year because of the hurricane. Staff, um, the Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair, like we have the whole tradition of you go. This was the the first time. This shirt was the was the, what? was the shirt I wore the first time I played Find Liz. It was Find Liz, but she dressed in her Halloween outfit, so people didn't recognize her. And it, it was, was kind of awesome. hair. Like now that I've got it was my before hair. <laughs> now that I've got my hair, like everybody, you can't really, I, it's hard to you hide. You can't camouflage yeah. as much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, um, so hi, we're gonna do our episode, um, we, I've, I think the lighting is still just fine, so we, here's our fun story about the shop. Um, we finally got our, our, our pylon signs, so like the thing by the street with the list of shops, 
finally has our Sun Dragon sign on it. It says Yarn Shop. We're so excited. So at least people know, like, driving by that there's something in here. The overhead sign is not ready yet, like, right over our shop. But they took down the Loftus Home Medical sign that was here that um, I almost feel like CEO right now. But not quite. I almost can't see my eyes. Anyway, I'm squirreling. Um, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. Um, so they took down the big sign that was hooked up to the electrics. And in doing so, they tripped a fuse we can't find. So some of the inside lights are not working right now. And I brought in floor light, like stand lights from home to help make the shop at least not be dark in one corner over there. It, it's not just dark. Over there, it's dark in my office. Yeah, I so. brought in I brought in a little lamp for her office. It looks too. all nice and cozy with the little lamp on. It. Like, <laughs> um, so like we, that was two days ago. Was was us just like, I I I had a rough day on Tuesday because everything was happening at once and it was just overload for me. So yeah, this was the embodiment of me on Tuesday. That's kind of what I'm dressed up as. Um, we have three fuse boxes in this new location. And all of them are fine. There's nothing tripped on any of them. It's like complaining to people being like, no, I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. So I won't have to call you all. And I did what I'm supposed to do. And it's, the lights still aren't working. So we're, we're trying to figure out if there's a magical fourth fuse box somewhere that we don't know about. <laughs> but until then, we're, um, we're making do. So... Um, so yeah, I was wondering if it was going to affect the lighting and it, we're not as bright as we have been the past couple of weeks, but we're not that bad. Lightwise. We're still really bright. <laughs> I can't, it's a family friendly show, so I am not going to put that on camera. Um, why do you go there? Why do you even think of that version of things? Is it because my hair is all over my face? Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, so this was curlier when I left the house, too. Anyway, it doesn't it's really matter. It's still really curly. It's fun. I'm actually having fun. I just can't see. <laughs> I see part of your face right now. I had a girlfriend in high school who, like, she had, Does her she hair was always hair? parted ah. just on half of her face, and she had super long hair. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It> was, yeah. <laughs> right? It's like, mm. um, So... I'm trying to remember, like, what else is going on that... Oh, um, I have a cat story, but it doesn't show up as well as earlier in the week. It actually is kind of healed. So I can't have my arms out of the covers anymore because middle of the night over the weekend, like, I had this arm next to me on the pillow. Middle of the night, pounced on, completely pounced on, out of the blue by my cat, by Avi. And anyone who comes to Knit Night has seen Avi. Um, I don't know if it will show up on camera, but I have a, I have teeth marks like right here and it was <laughs> not until I got up in the morning to go, Oh <laughs> yeah. But so he's both loving since the hurricane and he still has to hunt in the middle of the night. So that's my only animal story from home. Monday, we bought a new mattress for my bed. My old mattress was killing me. Um, trying to kill me and um i have this picture of a mattress being like <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so uh -huh. we we went to sam's got a mattress in a box and um to get to our house you have to go up steps and quite a few the, of them quite it's a like, few it's of like them. as few as, as a few as many as i have to get from the first floor to the second floor of my house and, and bernie took the mattress up the back steps, which are <gasps> twice as many. Oh, I and, didn't know about that. Oh, yeah. Like, I swore he was going to fall backwards with the mattress on top of it. was, it was crazy. And I'm not a good storyteller, so anyway, just <laughs> <laughs> picture trying. Like, he pulled the, the, the mattress out of the box, and I'm like, you realize if it gets a hole in it, it's going to inflate while you're dragging <gasps> it up the steps. Oh, wait, he took it out of the box before he took it up the yes, stairs? Yes, because trying to get the box up the stairs, he was like, I can't do it. So oh, anyway. Man. <laughs> we finally got it upstairs and I have a really old mattress that like doesn't fold it's all it's the springs and everything and there was no way we could get it out 
and where do you take a mattress? I know there's places and whatnot, but because it was just us, we were like, yep, this isn't gonna happen. So we put the new mattress on top of the old mattress. And the I'm old- I'm surprised there's room for you to sleep. There is room <laughs> short. <laughs> Being My- short has nothing to do with, with this when you lay down. No, but no, okay. there's, there's, it's, it's not. It's that, not up at the ceiling? It's not up at the ceiling. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bernie was making references after the bed, like, got up there that it was Princess and the Pea. I and made that reference, too. On you text. made that reference, too. And, and great minds think alike. He kept he kept making all other comments about nosebleeds because I refer to it as Mount Everest now. Mm-hmm. I have to have a step stool to get into bed. <laughs> <laughs> and, like... Oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Making it was... Mm, yeah. Anyway, so... We got a new mattress. I have this picture of you just, like, taking a flying leap. I can't leap that high. (laughs) You know those videos where the cat makes the flying leap and doesn't make it or, like, hits the side and falls? Well, I I was thinking with your bed (laughs) and your cat, maybe Uh if you got another mattress and just stuck it on top of your mattress, your cat wouldn't make it up to the top. Well, no. But then it's a cat, so... He does this anyway to get up. Like, he jumps. Because my mattress is already pretty high because I have a foam top around it and stuff. You got me. And and he, he like, jumps and doesn't make it all the way up and goes... Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want to think about how many holes are in my are in my duvet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mount Everest. I have Mount Doom. That's the fireplace, and Mount Everest is my... A lot of mountains in her place. So, what, what do you have here? What should we talk about? So... That's so pretty. In between... Um, Where do you want to start? I, I'm going to start with this. In between uh, Tuesday or Thursday last week it's and so uh, Tuesday night, I finished cutting out my next set of dreads. And it is so pretty. It's it's very fall. It's you, very you have, fall. You have achieved your objective. I yes. like the yarns you picked because she picked a whole bunch of like purpley reds and reds and stuff and then you were looking for some stuff to mix in with yes. it right and i mixed in two other bowls of wizard and you didn't want to do orange but then you did i, I think it's perfect yeah. like there's just these littlest bits and i have like like up here like yeah. littlest bits of orange but it makes it so fall there's some orange and yellows and, and a little bit of green and I, when she bought the green i was like but Christmassy. It's going to be Christmassy, and it's not. And I left some light blues and some dark blues, but not the the brighter blues. It's really pretty. Um, because we live in the mountains, and there's blues. So, um, anyway. Deal with it. That's what, that's my hair. <laughs> so, the other thing that I did, um, well, so I told everybody on Tuesday night that, that my hair is like six inches longer, uh, my new hair is six inches longer than my old hair. And so do we this... we want to do an experiment of how long it's going to be? This is... Oh, I know how long. Anyway, this is new hair. And then I brought two black from my old hair. We totally can't see the ends of it, though, because well, it's I know, so long. But I hold it up. Okay. Well, so, can I help? What can I do? Um, well, I oh, by the way, while she's doing that, I have, I have Halloween nails on, just to let you know. They're mummies and eyes in the dark. That's so cool. I yes. have mummies. D. She's got mummy wrap too. Yeah. Of a different brand and different kind. Okay. Okay. So that's so starting. The black is the length of my old hair and like the, your current hair. Yeah. Okay. Oh my, my current. God. <laughs> that, yeah. So you're putting that in this weekend. I'm putting that in this weekend. So next week. Tune in to see her show off how long her hair is and, and tell you how many times she sat on her hair. Yeah. yeah. So. It's longer than your bum, but it's not quite long enough to dra- to hit the floor. Right? Yeah, no, it's okay. not going to hit the floor. Um, here, let me stand up and I can. I don't think it's going to show on camera, but. It oh, will. it might be. So, like, when it's braided in. Oh, I see. That's still on camera. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. So it's gonna it's gonna be long. Um, Yay! So somebody asked how I install them, oh. and you know whatnot. So 
if I do start from fresh, I pull everything out, I dye it, and then I have to divide it. I quarter it, parting, quartered, and then I just start breaking each quarter up into strips and I have a certain amount that I put on each strip. And what happens to those strips? And then I square the strips into squares and then I divide the strip or the square in half and braid in starting at the middle of the dreads. You braid in I to braid into my hair. So like the dread is one third of the braid? Um, no, so like with this, I fold the dread in half. Yeah. And starting up at the 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 fold, put it back like oh, this. So your hair might only be one piece of the braid. You, my hair is only braided into one half of the braid, and it only. I know one braid. half of the dread. I get yeah. that part. And it's only gonna braid down to about here. I know, but. But the braid is made of, of how, like, a braid is usually two, three pieces, right? Yes. It's two strands of my hair because the square is cut in That's, half. Okay. That's and what I was wondering. one strand of this. Okay. I get it. So the square, when you split it in half, that's two pieces of the braid. Yeah. Two pieces of the braid are one square, not like half of that square. Yeah. Okay. And then the third piece is the dread. Yep. And then I braid, and then I Until use, your hair runs out. Until my hair runs out. And then I use dental elastics because they're a quarter of an inch, but not the firm ones and the soft ones. But you have to wrap that around I and wrap pull it around, your dread pull through? the dread through three times, oh, and then I'm done. Um, That's a lot of work. Uh, I do that all over. No wonder it takes you, like, the whole yeah. weekend. I the, What I found in, like... I used Pinterest a lot and I had my hair braided when I was like 20. So I like kind of knew how it needed to go, but I mm. also found pins on Pinterest for installing synthetic and wool dreads. So, cool. um, yeah. And it's like how, you know, how many I use, I, I put in what, what is called micro or, uh, pencil dreads cause they're pencil thick. Um, and I like, one of the places on Etsy you can get dreads, they sell the, like, a whole set is 60 of them. And I put in 120. So, at least, you, depending so on. Yeah, because I, I put more <laughs> up, at the, up at the top of my head just mm -hmm. so it, my hair looks full. And um, then on the bottoms and the sides, there's, like, way less. But, okay. um, and in the summer, I put less than in the winter because in the winter it's warm. So, um. Cool. What else do you have here? What else do I have here? I finished plying, and then I washed and hung my blended yarn that I'm planning to make a sweater, and I finally am done with the blue. So you had spun it a while ago, and then you plied yeah. it? I spun, like, these two I got plied and everything before we moved. Okay. And then I had one more bobbin of single, of single ply. Spun but not plied. Spun but not okay. plied that I plied and I chain plied all of this. Um, and then nitty knotted it off and washed it and hung it up to dry. Cool. And I did that this weekend. Yeah, that's... Does that mean I... you can start knitting your sweater? No, because I still have to spin the green and the red. Oh, this is not green. This is teal. This is teal. Okay. I ha it's like um a bright Granny Smith green or uh oh. it's yeah, it's it's, it's like pale, green. but it's green. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. like and then the red is me. Red, dark Speaking red. Speaking of red, what is this last thing you have? You can't see what I'm looking at, you all. It, it's my sweater that's pretty much in the same, or my cardigan that's pretty much in the same spot it was last Thursday. But what is it made out of, in case people it, didn't watch last Thursday? It is made out of... Um, Can you reach it? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Jody Long Alba Aaron, and the color is called Rage. And I almost said murder. <laughs> well, it's called rage. I call it her murder. Her murder yarn. Y yes, you're calling it my murder rage. sweater. It's great. Cause, um, Cause it's I wanted this lovely red. Yeah, I walked in several weeks ago and was like, 
I want a red sweater today, and I want this. <laughs> and Rebecca was like, "Of course you do. It's this is called deep rage." Like burgundy, yeah, and it's nice. So, um, yeah. And last week we had talked about I was starting something in the Alba Aaron, and then they sent me the sample in the exact same color, which is yes. both good and bad. Um, our rep who came yesterday was like, "That's perfect." I'm like, "Yes and no," but you know. Um, so I ordered a couple more colors of Alba Aaron. None of that's online yet. There's so many things I'd like to get online. Hannah is helping us update the online shop. So, like, if you go to it, I want to say the Mallow, not Mallow, the Wizard is up to date with all the new colors we have. Um, some of the Cumulus is, is has been updated and some of the Zoe. And, but not all of it. Um... Like, it takes time, because she's both learning and we're, there's so many things we're doing. And it's only on the weekend, on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, like, and I was like, so. I'll, I'll keep the, the, we've got the momentum going, I'll keep it going now, and I have not put anything up online since, because life. Um, but, I finished, wait, this is the, this is the front. I have to look at where the cables are because it there's a little bit lower in this. I finished this sweater. I have not sewn the ends in yet, but I finished the knitting, the Billy pullover, and this is with Cascade 220, just straight up wool, and the stitch definition is fantastic, and it's actually, I think, squishy and soft. Like, someone else might be like, no, it's not. It's personal preference, oh, but yeah. It, it's it's so softer, much than, softer than the Alba Aaron. Oh, yeah. Um, like, which is supposed to be super, super crazy soft. So that just goes to show that that 100% roving gangs of sheep wool does not have to be scratchy. And I'm going to take my ears off because um, they're going to get in the way of trying this on. But, um, so I didn't measure one sleeve to the other. What I did was count cables <laughs> and these twisty cables. And at first I was like, oh, no, it's coming out longer. It's not. Um, there are 19 twisty cables from up here where they start to where I did the sleeve. Sweet. And counting the um, honeycombs, there are 20 along the edge there. But um, I'm gonna take off my dragon that likes to grab everything. And um, I have to weave some ends in. And I'm still gonna block this, even though it looks lovely, just to see, just to show you all what happens to uh, wool cable stuff when it's blocked. Cause it's probably gonna ease out a little bit um that looks so cool I know. it's you, probably gonna gonna become a little more relaxed because right now it, it's a little bit tight but you know like i can see my little belly but um like under this but i love the length of it that it the sleeves are perfect it was so much fun oh and i have one more thing for shelby rose who is like thank you for talking about the cables like how there's three different types of cables in this they may go in different directions and and she was uncertain about doing like having to like one of her answers to like thank you for answering my question involved um like i'm always nervous about the charts and having to do different charts and different and some cable patterns will have different charts for different cables and you have to keep track this one all of them are on one like this section here is all one chart where you can kind of see what's happening with them. What's cool about this sweater I found is um, here, everywhere it was, like everything's in multiples of four. So it was like every fourth row, like these cables were happening and this stuff was happening. And every eighth row, these twisties were happening. So it was like four rows handle most of it four rows more, everything gets cabled. So like they, they lined up. So it wasn't like a six cable here and an eight cable, row cable there. They're all multiples of four. And I think any designer who is not trying to break your brain would do something like that where it all makes sense, like, or it all lines up so you don't have to keep track of di things happening at different places. Cause that's a little bit annoying, I think. Um, so, I'll just wear this for this well, Don't forget my anxiety shirt's underneath this. <laughs> I, yes. I was going to say, no wonder your dad wants that sweater. 
But what? Because it's it's organized. It, it looks super comfy. It it, it like, is super comfy. I can't wait to like go out in the winter, and and wear it and be like da da. Um, Your dad's no, gonna be should... like, no, I don't want that sweater. I just asked what size it was, but he wants that sweater. You know he does. Well, I gave him one that it wasn't cabled, but it was thick and squishy. I could make him a cabled one, but not for Christmas. You will. This, this, okay, it was just, it was a, only a couple inches past sleeve separation when I started working exclusively on this after the hurricane. And it probably took me, it took me almost a month, like, because I, I'm not knitting during the day. And some people are like, you're so fast. And I'm like, if I could knit at the shop, which people think we do, but we don't. We do on occasion. There, there it comes I'd and get goes done, and I'd waves. get done a lot faster. So, um, anyway, um, so... I'm working, now I'm working on another thing that looks like it's the same color, but there's two things I've started since. I'm going to go get the colors of that, just because. Of this? Yeah. Okay. So, I was kind of like, I really want to start. I, I don't know if I showed this off to you all. Um, this is the, this is the very beginning of the wild swan. <laughs> you can't see very much of it. And I was making with my own personal yarn, I was making, with fr yarn from Yarn Baby, who's awesome. I was making a fingering weight version of this and it kept me going during the, during the time when the light, I, wanna, I almost said pandemic, the hurricane, no lights. And um, I was really debating, I wanted, I'm like, I could make a lace weight version. We just got on the exquisite lace and I'd like to try to get this up online, we'll see. It's, you know. Um, this is one skein of it and, um, and we, this, we brought it in just to have a lace weight in the shop and it came in right after we moved in. Um, and I was debating which color to make. Liz is going to go through colors in a second. Um, we decided, even though I just made like a white or off white sweater, we decided I should make the white, um, or off white because, um, first of all, it would, it can look like a bridal, sh a bridal, sh a bridal shawl. And, and it's also, this has lace and little cables in it. And it's going to show all the stitch definition of that off really well. Instead of like, I really wanted to do something dark and broody, but it, you wouldn't see the detail as much. And I'm telling you feeling this, like it, it doesn't look as thin as I thought it would. I'm lit I'm knitting with lace weight yarn on a size four needle. It feels it fantastic. Fluffs. It does fluff, which, you know, if you wanted to do a thin lace weight sweater, I mean, it will take you forever. But um, but we just heard a weird honk outside. <laughs> um, but this should only take me one skein of this. 100 grams has 800 meters probably, right? Uh, 100 grams has 800 meters or 875 yards. It's two skeins of I should of actually weight. have leftovers from one skein of this um but the colors we we got in a really this is from west yorkshire spinners it's called exquisite lace um and we got in a really small color palette just to test it just to have something but um so it's got a bajillion yards 870 something 75 okay what is in this list it is 80 percent wool they they say it's it's falkland wool but a lot of Falkland wool is Polworth, so it's even softer than Merino. Even softer than Merino. And 20% mulberry silk. Um, I think this would make amazing super thin socks, personally. Oh, yeah. Just feeling this. I'm like, it's, I would love to have this on my feet. It's very soft. Y you might not want to like run around in them all the time. Oh, I know. It might not hold up, but it's also, it's not like super wash. It's not like, like super, I don't know, but it's, it's so soft. It might not hold it's up, so but soft. oh my gosh, like to have these inside the boots I'm wearing right now, which need really thin socks in them. You could like, you could. I want to see how much I have left over, but anyway, um, so it's Polworth. It's, it's really soft wool and silk. So it's really soft. It doesn't and say Polworth, but I'm gonna okay. go out on a limb and Liz, Liz, like, if I have to bet, <laughs> blame money. Liz if it's not. <laughs> um, it's super soft. What color? So what color is this that I'm knitting with? Is it's called pearl. You can tell it's brighter than what I'm wearing. This is the natural color of wool from the Cascade 220. Um, but it's not. It's still not white, 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 because it's really hard to get that. 
You from, gotta bleach it. You gotta bleach it, which which d- kind of destroy. You can get that easier with cotton than you can with wool, but with wool, you, like it's more of a natural color, but it's brighter than what I'm wearing. Yeah. Okay, this Let's is Savoy, and it's a beautiful teal. It's darker than what the camera shows, but the, not by much. The iPhone tends to make things look bluer than they are, or like a little more washed out than they are, but this is a lovely warm teal. And it's just that really popular, like, deep teal, fun color. Um, we try to photo edit our colors when we take them with the iPhone, so they kind of show up different than just snapping a photo. But when you view it online, like, you might be seeing it differently than we're seeing it as we film. And, it, like, so even if we make it perfectly the right color, it may not appear the right color on your viewing apparatus. That's one of the issues of online stuff. This is Belgravia, and it is like a very rich raspberry. It's that, yeah, it's that deep, rich, rich raspberry, like just... so popular right now. And so these are our, these are our dark color, rich colors of it. Almost jewel tones. Yeah, they really are. They have that jewel tone. And then we have this is the, a neutral, and that one I think counts as a neutral. Yep. It's truffle. It's a, um, it's a deep, rich. Almost, um, it's like a gray blue almost. It's a gray blue, but they're they're it's a warm gray blue though. Like, they're they're cutting a, her off a metal or a, a stone. gunsmith almost gunsmith, like that gunsmith yeah. metal color. It's, it's really, yeah, it's gorgeous. I really wanted to make my shawl out of that because I just knit with a very like white, bright color. But um, this wouldn't have shown the detail as much. But this would make a, a beautiful white swan. Oh, yeah. Because the white swan pattern is just, like, could look amazing, dark and broody. Yeah. This is sorbet. Um, and it's richer. It's, it's like richer. a corally salmon Yeah. It's, it's th- even the light colors are very rich. And just, yeah. You it's know. really pretty. Like, it was tough to decide what color to make this in. We tried to get a range. I mean, it's not every color under the sun, but we tried to have good options. This one is eucalyptus, and it is not quite a sage, not quite, it's not lime, you know. It's got that silvery shine of eucalyptus leaves, too. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not like silver, green. silver. Yeah. So, it's it's very, like, so many of these colors could work. To, like, the light colors look great together. Um, the jewel tone colors look great together. So two, but four, you we could got six mix colors. All of them, and you know, I was like, "Didn't you buy? No, you bought a bunch of the other stuff I, that I we won't we'll talk about the other day. stuff." Yeah. So I, um, I did buy one skein of the dark and broody truffles. It's at home because I'm not winding it at home because I wound mine here, and it took me a good ten plus minutes. Um to wind it because there's a lot of yarn there. There's a lot of yarn there. I, I figured um, about sixteen, but Yeah, you factored for sixteen and I was I was worried about because that's eight leaving m- y'all holding like that's waiting fine. for me. But. That's eight minutes per skein of fingering weight and since it's twice the yardage of fingering weight. Yeah. It's all good. We need to go open the shop. Um so we are still doing we're slowly reserving and using our energy. So we are still doing Tuesday night sit and stitch. The virtual sit and stitch is back. So far, we have survived. Um, that is on Zoom from 7 to 8 p.m. You get into Zoom with a shop phone number. 828-877-3550. We will be here next Thursday. Um, I'm not sure about um, when we'll do a Sunday virtual. We're still, like, I don't have the energy for classes yet. I'm trying to figure that out. I want to. I did two lessons on different days last week, and and both of, like, by the end of the week. But middle of the second lesson, I was already exploding with a migraine. So we're still recovering. I still have a few packages left from October's package. Thank you. The package extravaganza. Um, Every time I get busy packing, we get lots of people in the shop. So we're trying. And, yeah, I'm trying, trying. So. We will. Um, you can always check with us. We will get them out, and you'll get emails to track as soon as we can get them out. So, uh, uh, my hair is like just the right length to tickle my nose. All right, we're gonna go so we can open up the shop, yep. and um, we will talk to you later. But we hope you have a wonderful Halloween, 
and send us questions if you want us to discuss things. You can um, send them to Liz at Sundragon and fiber.com yes i was gonna say sun dragon sideshow and then my brain went nope and if we can it was nice to show this one off if yeah. we can we will um try to have like maybe one yarn a week if if we have the energy and this only had six colors so that was okay and if <laughs> if we don't have a lot of other stuff to show off this is why my hair is not usually in my face okay we gotta go bye. happy halloween bye